Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Very good. How was your weekend? Um, it's very, very good. Very good. Okay. Very nice. Thank you for for joining. We're going to begin. Uh, what about Mauricio, Sana, Gisela? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How was your weekend? Tell me. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I had fun with my families and oh. some friends. That is fine. I have a, yeah, I had a, din a dinner with uh, uh, a school friends. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So in that case, you had, you spent time with some old friends, right? Yes. Okay. Very good, very good. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that. What about Mauricio and Roxana? How was your uh, weekend? Good evening, good evening, teacher. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. How was your weekend? Is it good? Oh, it, was, it was good. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. I had this I had to work all the weekend. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So actually, yeah. I am and my ex working, all working, all work. Yeah. I, I, I can imagine that you are so busy, you have to do other things. But thank you for being here. I appreciate your time and your effort that you make. Okay, thanks. Well, thank uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. But it's almost, you know, it's almost Asian time, right? Yeah. yeah. We're going to rest a little bit. I hope so, because we have to rest. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Um, let's begin, but, I, you know, I want to know if you have some, do, do you have some difficulties or problems with the meter? Is everything good? In my case, is everything yeah. okay? Yeah, okay. I don't have a problem. Excellent. What about the rest? It's everything good, teacher. Okay. Any problem. Excellent. What about yourself? Yeah, for me, everything is okay. I finished the midterm. Excellent. So, yeah. Right. What about Manel? By the way, hi, welcome. Can you hear me, Manel? Okay. Hello, teacher. Sorry. Hi, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. How's it going? Hey, very good. Okay. Do you have problems with the meter? Yeah. yeah. Sí, tengo un poco de problemas, teacher. Oh, okay. Tell me, tell me. Eh. Could you do it? Could you do the, the meter? Not yet? Could you complete the, the meter? Yeah? One moment, teacher. One moment. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, uh, in the meeting that Manel is trying to, to explain, uh, you know, the problem that he had, I just want to, to say, because I told you last week, on um, I think on Friday, I, I told you about the, the platform because you asked me about, you know, the way or let's say the tries that you have in every single exercise that you do. And, uh, you know, as I said last week, um, well, one person from Inglés Cooperativo, in this case, one authority from Inglés Cooperativo, uh, told me that you don't have limits, okay? So you can complete 
all the, the exercises without, let's say, restrictions. Okay, so you can do it as many times as you, as you can. The idea for you is to practice and improve, okay? So don't worry if you, for example, got, let's say, a, a wrong answer or some wrong answers. It's okay, continue practicing and next complete them again. Try to, to get the answer, the correct answer in case you couldn't. Continue doing it, continue doing it, and try to, to get the right answer, okay? So again, you don't have restrictions. Uh, talking about the price that you have in every single exercise, so you can do as many times as you can. If you do it for the first time and you get some, let's say, two or three wrong answers, let's continue, let's do it again, complete it, and you know, so the idea for you is to improve your skills, okay? You know, grammar, listening, speaking, or in this case, in extensions, reading, et cetera. That is the purpose, okay? So we don't have, we don't want you, we don't want you to, to affect your know, final results case, remember that we have to keep the 80% the of score. So you have to keep that. That's why I ask you in every single session, if you have some troubles or issues with the platform, the meter, etc. because I, I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me and let's see what we can do. In case you haven't done the, the exercises or you haven't done the, the meter, Remember that you have to do it as soon as possible, okay? Try to complete everything, and you have to get that 80% or more than that, okay? The idea is that you get the 100%, okay? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Gabriela, welcome. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay, sorry. So he's here. Luis, I want to say. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, nice. Thank you for joining. Did you complete? Hi, how are you, Liz? Uh, very good. Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. And I hope you can enjoy your weekend, relax from the weekend, because we deserve, deserve that. Okay, welcome. Welcome again. Uh, by the way, uh, Liz and Gabriela, do you have troubles with a meter? Do you do it? No, I don't have problem, teacher. Excellent. What about Gabriela? I don't have problem, teacher. Amazing. Thank you. Well, um, any questions before to, to begin? Is everything good? Okay, well, listen, we're going to socialize the meter because, you know, the idea is to, to help you and to get all the answers from, from the, the meter in case you get some, uh, some answers, um, probably one or just two. Uh, we're going to socialize because I wanted to, to be clear with the meter. Remember that this was the meter that you were supposed to complete last week, last Thursday. And well, the, the meter contain, contains two parts. In the first part, well, we have the instructions. The instructions uh, were to, what well, is to read the sentence and choose the correct part of the two part per missing. That was the purpose for the instructions for the first part. And you have three, only three sentences. And of course, you had it multiple choices. Okay. So as you can see, this is the first part. Again, the instructions were to, to read the sentence and choose the correct part of the two part we're missing. 
Let's go one by one and you're going to help me with the answers. Number one says, please clean bedroom really a mess. What do you think is the correct answer? What is the answer? Clean up. Clean up bedroom. Exactly. Please clean up bedroom. It's really a mess. So what is it? Yeah, that is that is the answer. Clean up because that is uh, as we saw in the previous last week. We're talking about phrasal verbs. Clean up is a phrasal, and that means that you you have to make something clean or neat. Okay, clean up. Very good. Number two, could you please put the groceries in the kitchen? Over, off, or away? Away. Put away. Put away. Put away. Put away. Yeah, put away. Okay. You please put away the groceries in the kitchen. You're asking someone to do something, to place something in a, let's say, in a spot. In this case, could you please uh, put away the groceries in the kitchen? So it was the third option. So, yeah. Number three, can you turn the TV while on the phone, down, you, out, or on, sorry. Can you turn down? Exactly. Can you turn down the TV while I'm on the phone? I'm on the phone. So you're having a call, having a call, and probably you're, let's say, the scenario, you're in your house, maybe, you receive a call, and you know that someone is watching TV, and the volume of the TV is up, okay? So you ask, can you turn down the TV while I'm on the phone? So yeah, it's down. Can you turn down? That is a replacement verb. Perfect. Well, that was the first part. Any questions? No. No, teacher. I don't have questions. All right. Let's go with the second part. In the second part, yeah, you have Four, four statements. So what are the instructions? The instructions are for where to read the sentences and choose between an infinitive or general. That was another. Well, that was another topic that we saw last week about infinitives and gerunds. And you know, again, you have multiple choices. You have multiple choices, and you were supposed to choose the best answer. Infinitive or gerund? Number one, microwave ovens are used very fast. To cook it, to cook it, or to cook, or? To cook. For, for cooking. For cooking, okay. Somebody else? I think it's to cook. To cook, okay, to cook. Oh, no, no, oh, wait. Microwave used to for cooking. For exactly. cooking. Exactly. So we use for cooking. Cooking because when we have the the let's say the this for are used. We use use the for. Use for them to use it like this. When we have a when we have for, for example, or a preposition, we use ing for because we use germs. Uh, micro microwave ovens used for cooking food very fast. Second option. Number two, when you go to the beef, dry the can quarter wet. Mm. Not to get, don't to, uh, to don't get, sorry, not getting. Not to get, not to get. Not Okay. If you go to the beach, try not to get the camcorder with. Exactly. It's the first option not to get because that's what we saw in the, you know, in the previous last week. We were saying some common expressions that we use in order to say some great suggestions. We were seeing, remember, imperatives and infinitives. And we were combining those two forms. 
and we're using some common expressions. One of them is try, try. Then we have an infinity. When we have an infinity and we want to combine negative form, we use not after to, try not to get the camcorder wet. Where's the first option? Number three, you can use my cell phone, a voice mail, leaving to leave or to leave. Gerald or infinity? I'm looking at my cell phone. To, to leave. leave. To leave. To leave a voice email. Exactly. So in this case, we, 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 we need a, an infinity. To. To leave. You can use my cell phone to leave a voice mail. So it's the third option. Infinity. And the last one. The last one. Don't forget. Your ATM are with you. For taking, taking or to pay. Zero or infinite. Take. To take. To take. To take. To take. Exactly. To take. What we use to take. What we use an infinity. You know, a zero. What we use to take. Not, for example, taking. Or for taking. Um. Why an infinity and not a gerund? <sighs> it's because oh. our time, sorry, our time. <laughs> I I remember I choose to take because you are talking about someone, no something la, where, uh, in the first in the first question you use uh, 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 the macro way you use for for um, you use gerund because you are talking about the thing. Microwaves. The first and, one, right? Yeah. You use for for cook, cooking because you talk about uh, the the uh, about that you use microwave. In the last, it's about someone. Okay. It's yeah. about the person. Yeah. Yeah. You you're giving a, a suggestion into a suggestion to somebody and in this case we use to take we use an infinitive because uh we have two verbs yeah we have two verbs and forget is a company with the infinite don't forget to we don't say for don't forget for because that is not the way so in this case we take into account the collocations okay don't forget to so we have we always have that for. Forget to or don't forget to. That is a collocation to. We use an infinitive. They don't separate. Don't forget to take your ATM with you. Or with you sir. So yeah, the last one is to take. It's an infinitive. And remember that we were using that for that expression in the last well, last class last week. Sorry. We're talking about imperatives and infinitives. Well, this is basically the, the meter that you did it last week. I don't know if you have questions about the discussion that we have about the meter. Everything. Was it good? Was it easy? Was it difficult to do the meter? Yes. No. Teacher, I yeah. have a problem with with uh, audio exercise. Oh, from yeah. section three. Uh, How about it, carnival? <laughs> uh, carnival. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, some of you have had the same problem with that specific audio. Uh, but, but yeah, remember as I said before. 
try to listen to the audio one more time and you know answer the questions again. Yes. There is not a limit for you to do it. So you can do it as many times as you can. Um, well, try it again. Let me know if you have the same problem and I will ask someone to, for that, I mean, for help in this case, okay? Let's do it again. You don't have limits. It is not limited in this case. The platform or the exercises specifically, you can do it again, okay? Yeah, and teacher, if you- I, Teacher, I have a question for you. Tell me, tell me. Can you try to answer this, this part? Mm. And, and do it, and did you uh, get it? Okay, um, let me try, let me try. But I'm not sure if I can, because I don't know that. Let me ask, I can do it. Because, you know, the platform is, is done for you. So I'm not sure if I can do it. Let me try, oh. let me ask. I can do the exercise in order just, you know, for practicing to make sure that uh, the answers are good or, you know, if it is a problem in there, I will do it. I will, but I will ask first if I can complete them and I will tell you later, okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about it. Because, sure. because I listened uh, this audio many times and, and I try in many ways and, and I can't and I couldn't. Yeah. yeah, don't worry, let me let me try. I will ask tomorrow if I can do it and you know, I will share with you. And, and after that, you uh, give us some clue <laughs> about that. Yeah, yeah, I can give you some, some help. If you, you, some if you can. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I mean, the, the, idea, the idea is that, you know, I will help you, I will help. I'm here and I'm going to facilitate your case, all the resources that we have, et cetera, okay? Okay, Don't thanks. Worry. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, does somebody else have a, have a problem or do you have a problem, sorry? With the platform or another exercise, everything all right? Okay. Yeah. Remember, let me know. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Tell me, tell me. No, no, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Well, let me know. Remember, if you have a, another problem, platform. First, I, I will help you and I will clarify you down. Okay, continue working, working hard. Remember that you have to uh, take that 80%, more than that, okay, of course, more than that. But you have to keep that average, 80%, okay? So complete all the platform. And well, right now we did the meter, we're missing the final test, but that will be next week, okay? Well, let's continue. Let's go to the session. This is session number nine. Today is Monday, March uh, 15, 2021. And well, we will continue with abbreviated classes. Fine, the, the second part. Uh, today I will show you, I will explain another use that abbreviated classes have. We're going to keep the same, you know, subordinating conjunctions that we use. And well, moving on. I was explaining this in the previous session. Now, how we use the abbreviate classes of time. An abbreviate class is a group of words that functions as an adverb, and that contains that contains a subject and a verb. Okay, so we have an adverb. We have an adverb, an adverb class specifically, or a subordinate class, and in that class. We have the subordinating conjunction, which is the adverb, it could be when, after, before, until, etc. And that clause contains a subject and a verb, but that is a dependent clause. What does it mean? So that clause, probably, that clause is not complete. So it doesn't make sense. So we need another clause. 
an independent clause or a main clause, okay? So that is the first thing that we have to know. I was explaining this that quick, but you know, I will reinforce in case you have some doubt. At the beginning of every class, every other class, sorry, there is a subordinating conjunction, as I before. And those subordinating conjunctions connect two classes, two ideas. That is the function that these subordinating conjunctions make in the sentence, okay? They join, they link the two sentences. And we have, in this case, some other, some uh, subordinating conjunctions of time, when, after, before, since, etc. We have more. And these were the structures. Well, another aspect that we were discussing is that, you know, the adverbial class is composed of two classes, the dependent class, which is a subordinate class, and the independent class, which is the main class. And we can have two ways to structure both statements. The first one is when we have at the beginning the dependent class, right? So in that case, we have the subordinate conjunction, the subject and the verb. That first idea, that dependent class was separated to a comma, and then we have the independent class. That is the first structure that we were using in the previous session. The second structure is when we have at the beginning the independent class, then we have the dependent class second. Uh, and the subordinating conjunction is in the middle. So we don't use comma. Comma is not needed in this case, All right? So that's basically what we did in the previous session. But I have something new for you. And I remember that at the, at the, at the end of the session, we were discussing that. I want to reinforce more and show you how we use them. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Everything good? No question. Everything okay. good. Moving on, thank you. Now we have this part. This is the way we, we can modify the other classes. Like I said last week, we make some reductions, let's say. We modify the other classes, right? So again, we have the two classes, the dependent class and the independent class. What we do is the following thing. Okay, we have the time classes on the subordinating conjunctions, while, after, before, since, when, whenever, as soon as, etc. And we have some examples. We're going to see how we modify those other classes. Listen, finish. look at the Slack, okay? The first example. While I was relaxing for a while, I fell asleep. That is a, you know, an arbitrary class. The two classes, the dependent class and the independent class. What is the, the dependent class? Why are uh, while relaxing or for a while? For a while. Yes, exactly. What is the independent class, the main class? I fell asleep. Exactly. You say while I was relaxing for a while, it doesn't make sense. It's not complete. So you need you need another another class. While I was relaxing for a while, I fell asleep. So that is the main class. Because when you say I fell asleep, I fell asleep, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. What can we do? How uh, we can modify the adverbial class, the adverbial class. Simple. You can omit the subject, and let's say, well, it depends on the tense. Of course. In the first example, we're using past continuous. I was relaxing. So in this case, we omit the subject and was. And we keep just the verb. The verb is in angry form. And we can say, while relaxing for a while, I fell asleep. That is the reduction that we can make. That is the way we modify the other class. And we can reduce, we can reduce that oh. statement, okay? We can do this, we can do this when, you know, we have the same subject, okay? 
For example, in this case, I'm talking, imagine that I'm talking about me. While I was relaxing for a while, I fell asleep. I'm talking about me, only me. So I can make or I can modify the other class. But if you're talking about two people in the same you know, statement, you cannot do it. For example, if I say, while I was watching TV, my mother was cooking dinner. In that case, you can. You can do this because you have two different subjects, two different people, okay? Another possibility, and, uh, and we are modifying this case, the adverbial phrase. That is an adverbial phrase. Relaxing for a while, I fell asleep. So that could be another way. That could be another way. So in that case, we are omitting the subordinate conjunction. It's not common to see this. However, you can do it. Okay. That is the first example. Second example, it says, after my sister had won one competition, she celebrated. She celebrated. So in this case, we're talking about a girl, let's say, a girl, a sister. A sister. After my sister had won competition, she celebrated. Okay, so the subject in that case, the person is a girl. I'm talking about my sister. We can say, we can omit okay, the subject, my sister. And we can say, of course, as you can see in that case, it's past perfect, past perfect, not one. So we uh, keep in mind the main, the main verb. The main verb in that case is one. So we know that that is the past principle of queen. So we have to use the gerund or the ing form. After winning competition, my sister celebrated. Of course, we say my sister because we have to talk about the person in this case. My sister celebrated. We omit at the beginning my sister, well, but we use it in the second class. Okay? Because we have to be clear about who are we talking about. Okay. Also, well, we can say after having won the competition, my sister celebrated. So in this case, we have a second action. We're using the past perfect, let's say, past perfect. We keep those structures and we use having. We don't say had it, because that is incorrect. We use, let's say, the, the, the main verb, which is have, and we use ing form. And then we say one. It's like you have the, let's say, perfect tense. But it's another possibility. Okay. This is the way we modify adverbial phrases or adverbial clauses. Okay. Any questions? Or to continue? Any questions? The different teacher is ing in the verb. Yeah, ing. When you omit the other parts, you use the verb, you have to, you know, locate the main verb, the main verbs. If we, if we are in the second example, we know that that is past perfect, had one, but we have to locate or identify the main verb. The main verb in there is one. So and that is the past principle, and we have to, to use the base form. The base form is win. Of course, we're using ing form in this case, winning, winning. But yeah, so that is where we use it. Teacher. I mean, but in the second exercise, in the, the, the sentence, uh, I don't know how to tell the, you this. The, the sentence that uh, in parentheses. Yeah. Is the you modify the the, the auxiliary verb? Exactly. Because having. Exactly. Not the main verb. No. In that case, you use the auxiliary because we know that this, that is past perfect. That is another combination that we can make. It's not common to see it, but you can do it. You can do it. Most of the times we use the first one. So we use the very nice form. 
teacher, what is the difference then? Uh, I mean, had, uh, well, in this case, it depends on the context. It depends on it depends on this of the tenses that you're using, right? Uh, we know that if you're using past perfect and simple past, you're talking about a past, let's say, action or past tense. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're using after winning, for example, after winning competition, consistent celebrated. We know that that is past. That is past because at the end we have. A clause that determines which is the simple past. Where we're using, we're combining, for example, past perfect, simple past, or we're using just simple past. I don't know if it's clear, guys. Is everything clear? I don't know. <laughs> I understand, I understand that you explain, but but in the uh, is different when it depend on the that what tense do you use? Exactly, exactly. But listen, listen. Let me show you. Yeah, I will write an example. See. After I had done my hunger, I could go to the party. For example, this is similar to number two. My, after my sister had won the competition, he celebrated. After I had go, done my hunger, Go to the palette. Past perfect and simple past. What we do, and this is the most common way to, to use it, we say after doing a word, I could go to the palette. So we reduce, we reduce the classes. And it's the same, the same. You can do these reductions. Okay. But the mean teacher is the same. Yeah, it's the same meaning. The same meaning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. We don't change the meaning. We cannot do that. We cannot do that. Even when you are paraphrasing, for example, paraphrasing, you you use these forms. You paraphrase, but you keep the same meaning. Yes. Okay. Questions. Okay. Everything good. Okay, listen. Okay, listen, we're gonna see another example. Thank you. Mary has made many friends since she came to the university. Listen, we tend to make or we tend to modify that form only in the other class, only in the subordinate class. When we have uh, in the in the class that we have the subordinate in conjunction, only in that part. In this case, Mary has made, has made many friends since he came to university. In that case, it's different. So we change positions. At the beginning, we have the independent class, then the dependent class. So we said, Mary has made many friends. We didn't change that part. And then we say, since coming to university. Coming to the university. That is a way. Okay. Another example, number four. I had turned off my cell phone before I went to the theater. And then that is, a, it is similar to the previous one. So at the beginning we have the independent class, the main class, and then we have the dependent class. And we make the same form, we use the same form, sorry. I had turned off the cell phone before going to the theater. Okay, that is what we modify. And then we have some more explanations. It says the subject must be the same in both classes. Like I said before, you have to be careful. If we have the same subjects, we can do it. If not, no. Again, I will use the same example that I, I gave you previously. While I was watching TV, 
my mother was cooking. In that case, we cannot. It doesn't apply. Okay. Another explanation, if there is a noun and a pronoun referring to the same subject, the subject in the main class must be the proper noun. This is related to the second example. After my sister had won the competition, so the main subject is it? Isn't the dependent class? My sister, that is the main class because we're talking about my sister. And we change it. We use it in the independent class. That's why then we say after winning the competition, my sister, we don't say she, she celebrated. Who? Who are we talking about? We're talking about my sister. So we use my sister. Okay. And the last one, while can be omitted. While, only while can be omitted in the modifying adverbing phrases. That's why in the first example, we omit it. Relaxing for a while, I fell asleep. Only with that one, we can omit the subordinate in conjunction, is while, okay? Do you have any questions, any doubt about how we modify the adverbing phrases or clauses? Is everything good? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, the, huh? it's about the question that you that I asked you the last class about the when when you say after having breakfast. I have breakfast. Oh. I remember that I I asked I asked this question in the last class. What was the example? Do you remember? Um, oh yeah, I remember that it was like after I have breakfast. I I exercise more before the uh, no no. After I have I, I have breakfast, I will brush the teeth. Right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what was the question? Do you have? Sorry. But it's the same. It's the same yeah, like this same. one. Yeah. After having breakfast, I will brush my. It's food. another. It's another way that you can use. Exactly. This this uh, adverb clauses. Yes. Adverbial clause of time. It's another way. Yes. Exactly. So we reduce. We reduce. The adverb clause. In the other class, we have a, a complete idea. We have a complete sentence. Why? Because we have a subject, we have a verb. That is a sentence. In the second example, we convert that clause in a phrase. This is a phrase. This is not a sentence. After having breakfast, that is a phrase because Be we don't have a subject. Because I remember my, my question in the last class was, what what which is the, the the tense in the when you when you use having breakfast and you said to me is the is in the in the present tense yeah in that case but, it's I'm sorry. yes you use yeah. the the present tense but but i understand is is a gerund you use yeah, it's gerund a, it's a gerund it's a gerund and in that case, like I said before, that becomes into a, a phrase. That is not a sentence. Yes. That's not a sentence. And that's why it doesn't matter if, if you yes. just in it, uh, if you become that other class in a, a very phrase. It doesn't matter the, the tense that you're using, if you use present, past, future, past perfect, present perfect. Yes. So you, you use it in this way because it's a phrase. You using wherever, wherever tense exactly. that because you change, and you use a, a phrase. Now it's not a, a sentence. It's not a exactly the tense that you use. It's a so phrase, yeah. only phrase. Right. Yes. It's 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 clear. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear for me now. Yeah. 
Exactly. How about my question that, that I asked you the last class? Yeah, exactly. Because as you can see... Now it is, it's clear. Yeah, very good. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's, it's nice, you know, you can ask me. You can ask me. Of course. Yeah, uh, as you can see in these examples, we're using different forms, different tenses. Past continuous, past perfect, present perfect, etc. So it doesn't matter. So you can use these forms because it's a phrase. A phrase. It's an adverb phrase. Okay. Let me show you more. Let me show you more about this. Uh, well, we're changing time classes to modifying adverb phrases. A class, you know, a simple form, in this case, as we normally use, you can say, since Maria came to this country, has made many friends. Yeah, well, this is similar to the previous one. Uh, the phrase, or the adverb phrase is, since coming to this country, Maria has made many friends. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And we have uh, adverb classes beginning with after, before, while, and since can be changed to modify adverb phrases. Those convert into adverb phrases. Those are adverb phrases. Okay? Yes. I understand. Well, very good. So now here we have, you know, more examples, more examples. But in this case, I have examples, you know, with the first way, with the first form that we were using, okay? So when we have the dependent class at the beginning, then we have the independent class in the second way, in the second form, in the second position, and then we can change them. We can have at the beginning, the independent class, and then the dependent class. And we have some examples. We have when light strikes an object, the light bounces off. In that case, the other classes are the beginning, the independent class. When you look at in the mirror, you see your reflection. Then we have the other part, the other classes at the end, the independent class. The light bounces off when light strikes an object. Or you see your reflection when you look in the mirror. Those are the two ways, as we saw in past week. Okay, and then we have the time expressions. We have more examples in here, as you can see. But after, Rosana, can you read the example? Uh, what is the example with after? Uh, in time expression. Yeah, after, and then the example, you brush. She brushed, she brushed her hair after she saw her reflection. Yes. Reflection. Very good. Next, before, I will listen to Mauricio, please. Sorry, teacher, can we, can you yeah. repeat the question? Sure. Can you give us, can you read the example that we have for before? Before? Okay, before. Before the Turner, on the light, they couldn't see anything. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Since, Gisela, please. Haven't seen him since he left this morning. Yes, thank you. Until, please, can you help me? Okay. We stay there until the next day. Yes. Next, whenever. I'll listen to Anel, please. Whenever. No. I will go with Jose. Jose, please. Whenever. Whenever. Whenever I leave home, I turn off the lights. Yes. And the last one is while. Marina? Uh, while, while I was looking out the window, I heard the doorbell ring. Yes, exactly. Very good, excellent. Those are some of the examples that we have for abbreviated classes. Look, what are we going to do? As you can see in the instruction, 
instructions, we we'll have to look at the examples and we have to write at least three sentences in your notebook. Please choose two or three connect two or three subordinating conjunctions that are needed to write three sentences in your notebook. You can use the forms that we were discussing previously. For example, I will use one of these examples. Let me see, I will use um, before they turn on the lights, they couldn't see anything. I'll use that one. I will use this form. I will say, before turning on the lights, they couldn't see anything. And you can use this form if you want, okay? Go ahead, I will give you some time, write your own examples in your notebook, write at least three, three sentences in your notebook. Have any questions? Just let me know. Okay. Oh, I don't understand exactly what I what I oh, want okay. to do. Uh, I I I I I said to you that I I I understand. We are going to choose three that sentence in the example sentence, and and we need to convey in the in the phrase, phrases, phrase, uh, adverbial phrase? Mm, okay, that could be one possibility. I mean, you know. Or we need to. But you are supposed to, to select three subordinating conjunctions after, before, uh, since, until, and you have to construct your own examples. Your own examples, if you want, mm -hmm. you can use this form. You can use adverbial phrases, okay? In the examples that you have to write, you have to write some new examples. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I will give you some time. Okay. If you need some help, just let me know. Questions? I'm here. Okay. Help. Let me know once you're ready, please. Okay. Examples, but I don't I don't know exactly if they are right. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. The first one is 
I haven't seen my friend. I haven't seen my friend since the quarantine start. Yeah. And the second one, before the quarantine start, I travel a lot for work. Yeah, exactly. They are correct. They are correct. Yes. I have another one, but I don't have. I don't know exactly if they is good. Before I take English classes, I took my dinner. Before I take. Did I get this? Before I take English classes, I took my dinner. Or I mm. take my dinner. Exactly, yeah. Because you're saying something that you do regularly. Yeah, okay. I take. Before I take English classes, you can say probably I have dinner. I have okay. dinner. Yeah. In that case, you can you can change because you're using the same verb take. So you can vary. Okay. Very okay. nice. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Who else is ready? Thank you, Sarah, for your examples. Let me know if you're ready. Are you ready? Uh, teacher, yeah, I have uh, two sentences. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I live in my parents' house until I get married. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. And the other, I, I'll be back home before midnight. Yeah. Very good. That's very nice. Thank you for sharing, Chris. It's a great example. Thanks. Okay. Well, the last the last one was, Chris, okay. I will. Say again, please. Okay. I'll I I'll be back home before midnight. Yes. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. All right. Somebody else? Okay. I play video games since I'm five years old. 
I'll put I I'll I will buy a pet after my retire. Okay. While I was driving, I don't use my cell phone. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. I like that. Thank you, Jose. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. What else? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, let's go with Roxana and then Gabriel. Thank you. Okay, the first one. After I had dinner, I brushed my teeth. And the another way using phrase, phrase, Albert phrase, after having dinner, I brush my teeth. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. And another one. I have lived in Chalchuapa since I studied at the university. And in, in another way is using phrase, adverbial phrase. I have lived in Chalchuapa since studying at the university. Exactly, that is a way. And the last one. I watched TV while my sister wa washed her clothes. But in this case, it's not possible uh, using adverbial yeah. phrase because it's another, it's both, uh, both uh, different, different subject. Exactly. Me yeah. and my, my sister and, and, and I. Exactly. So in right? that case, it doesn't apply, yes. Because yes. they have two different subjects. Very good. Okay. Perfect. I like them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, let's go with the now. Okay, teacher. Uh, after finish my exercise time, I could be relaxing. Yeah. When I show my favorite promo program, I eat ice cream a lot. Okay. She takes her cell phone after she sleep time. After she after she sleep. Okay, after she is sleep. Can you repeat that example, please? Sorry, one more time. Uh, she take her cell phone after she sleep. She take, you say right? She take. Hey, yes. She take her cell phone after she sleep. Right, in that way? Okay, see, yes. Okay. She take her cell phone after she sleep. Mm. What do, you, what do you mean in that case? Hello? Um, she, she take or, or she show your cell phone? Can I use, can I use, use the cell phone? After. After. Mm -hmm. Yes. She take her cell phone after she is asleep, is that right? I think probably you want to say he uses the cell phone before probably before she sleeps. Before she sleeps. Yeah, before she sleeps. I think that is that is the way or that is what you want to say. She uses her cell phone before she sleeps. Okay. Or it could be another way. I mean, that is the first thing that probably someone do. I mean, after you wake up, probably you use yourself, or you take yourself. That could be another possibility. She takes her cell phone after she wakes up. Probably. Okay. Really? Okay. Any questions?
Okay, thank you. Thank you for, for sharing. Nice, very nice job. Well, any questions, guys? Questions about algebraic classes? Bella? Sana? Oswe? No, no questions, teacher. No questions. No, no questions. Everything is okay. Okay. Chris, thank you. It's clear, teacher, but uh, I need practice, practice, and practice. Of course, of course. Yeah, you have to do it. So you have the platform, remember, you have to continue practicing and complete all the parts in the platform. If you need some help, if you, need me, if you want me to send you more exercises, extra exercises, you can do it. Okay, you can do it. Okay, I'm here and I can help. Uh, well, let me see. I think Mauricio is missing, Mauricio. Sorry. Think so. Nope. Ready? You hear me? Okay. Well, listen. Uh, we're going to finish right here because it's time. We will continue tomorrow with a new session. Uh, if you have any questions related to the platform, related to you know any exercise, just let me know and I'm going to give you some support. Okay. Well this is all for today everybody. Thanks for being here for your time. I appreciate everything from you. We will continue tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care a lot. And stay safe please. Goodbye everybody. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Good Bye, night. everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Same to you. Have a good night, too.